Hi guys, welcome back again to the channel Math Appetite with CRM. So this time we're going to discuss on how to calculate speed, distance, and time. So first, let us have the definition of each term. So when we say speed, so it is the scalar quantity that refers to how fast an object is moving. So speed can be told as the rate at which an object covers the distance. Distance is the amount of space between two objects or the state of being far apart. Time is this, the measured or measurable period during which an action, process, or condition exists or continues. So let us have an example of how, of how to get the distance uh, or how to calculate distance so distance so let us have this example michael drew from boot one to cagayan de oro city at a steady speed of 60 kilometer per hour so 60 kilometer per hour it means to say there are 60 kilometer in one hour okay so after one hour he had driven how many kilometers so there are 60 kilometers. Okay, if we're going to if we are going to drill uh, drill for two hours, so he will be the distance that Michael travel or drive in is 120. How do we get 120 here? So just add six another 60 kilometer, get 180. So if he drill for three hours, how many kilometers that he has driven? So you're going to add six another sixty in 120. That will be 180 kilometers. Or how about if it drew for five hours? He had driven how many kilometers? So you just add uh, another sixty, then another sixty. So that will be 300 kilometer. Huh? If there are five hours. So what is the ruling for uh, getting the distance? So, the rule is, okay, distance is equal to speed times time. So, we're going to multiply the amount of speed to the time. Okay? Or, we will uh, abbreviate the formula or the ruling. So, D, D stands for distance. S is uh, equal to speed and T is for time. So let us have a concrete example of how to get the uh, distance of a certain uh, situation. So Billy runs a speedy uh, speed of 4 meters per second for 55 seconds. How far has he traveled? So again, so our problem here is uh, how to get the distance or how far did Billy run for 55 seconds so the formula for get the distance is D is equal to S times T so our given here we have the speed 4 meters per seconds seconds and the time is 55 seconds so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 4 times 55 and that will be 250 meters why we have here meters so since uh we are multiplying 4 meter per second so and for 55 seconds so you're going to cancel out the seconds in this uh uh, equation so cancel out the second then the remaining is meter that is why 220 meters in which it corresponds the total distance that uh, Billy covered for 55 seconds so example number two we have here a boat travels at a speedy speed of 12 km per hour for 8 hours. How far has it traveled? 
Okay, so the distance is equal to speed times time. So we have here the given our speed here is 12 km per hour and our time is 8 hours. So multiply 12 times 8 and that will be 96. So cancel out the hours. So the remaining will be kilometers. So that the answer will be 96 kilometers as a distance traveled by the boat. So your answer here is 96 kilometers. So we have here example number three. So a cyclist cycles for 3.5 hours at an average speed of 40 miles per hour. How far has he traveled? So for this problem, so what is asked is the distance. So our given here, the speed is 40 miles per hour. Then um, time will be 3.5 hours. So multiply 40 times 3.5, that will be 140. Then cancel the hours here, hour, cancel. So it remains the miles. So we have here 140 miles. Okay, the next thing is the average speed. So to understand more speed, let us study this um, situation. The dream drove from Glasgow to Inverness, a distance of 180 miles. It took him three hours. So there are three hours and 180 kilometers. Or the average speed for his journey is okay, 60 kilometer per hour since in every hour there are 60 kilometer because in three hours there are 80 kilometers. Another is then he traveled to Aberdeen. 100 mile journey takes two hours. So what will be the average speed to Aberdeen? So you're going to, uh, if there are uh, 100, uh, 100 miles for two hours, probably in one hour there are 50 kilometer per hour. Next, finally he drove to Cebu. It takes four hours to travel a distance of 180 kilometer. So the average speed for the journey to Cebu City. So it means to say that there are uh, 45 kilometer in every hour. So what is the rule for this average speed? So how to find the average speed? You're going to uh, the formula is speed is equal to distance over. Time. So you're going to divide the distance traveled to the time uh, it traveled. Or with, uh, in abbreviation, speed is equal to D over... Okay, let us have the concrete example for the uh, problem on speed. So Billy runs for 400 meters at his school sports day in 80 seconds what was his average speed for the race so to get the average speed you're going to uh, divide the distance over the time okay so our given here distance is 400 meters and the time is 80 seconds so divide 400 divided by 80 and that will be five meters per seconds. Another example for the average speed. So we have your Nilo Cartwells from Manila to Makati, a distance of 48 miles in 12 hours. Calculate what is his average speed. Okay, so speed is equal to distance over time given we have here Distance is 48 miles and uh, time is 12 hours. So you're going to divide 48 divided by 12 and that will be 4 kilometer per hours. 
another example for uh, speed average speed solving for the average speed we have here captain barber flies from earth to planet of kagandaan it takes him 20 hours and 14 miles away find his average speed okay so um formula speed is equal to distance over time so our distance here is for 14,000 divided by 20 hours so the answer is for 700 miles per hour we're going to divide 14,000 divided by 20 cancel the terminal zero so 1,400 divided by 2 that will be uh, 700 and copy the units miles per hour okay this time we are going to discuss on time so so to understand more on time so let us first have this situation so jim has been a naughty boy and is being chased by the police so he was chased for 150 miles and his average speed was 50 miles per hour so the chase lasted for how many hours so you're going to okay divide 150 by 50 miles per hour then last year he has been chased for 240 miles at the average speed of 60 miles per hour so the chase lasted for how many hours uh, four hours so here his brother billy has been chased for 140 miles the average speed of 70 miles per hour so this chase lasted for okay two hours what is the rule for finding the time so that will be time is equal to distance over speed or t is equal to d divided by the s okay let us have the example problem on time or how to calculate the time so juju runs for 800 meters at his school sports day an average speed of four meter per second how long did it take him so to find the time yeah we're going to have the formula time is equal to distance over the speed so given we have here the uh, distance is 800 meters then the speed is 4 meter per second so you're going to cancel out the meters here so it remains the uh, unit sequence so 800 divided by 4 and that will be 200 200 seconds okay let us have example number two so Billy parachutes from a height of 24,000 feet he falls at a speed of 3,000 feet per minute how long does it take him to reach the ground so to find time how long does it take reach the ground we're going to use the formula times uh, time is equal to distance over the speed so the given so distance is 24,000 feet and the speed is 3,000 feet per minute so you're going to uh, divide 24,000 by 3,000 cancel all the terminal zeros that will be 24 divided by 3 and that is 8 then cancel the unit feet then the remaining is minutes so that is 8 minutes it took um, 8 minutes for Billy to reach the ground okay for sample number 3 so, so for Billy is trying to save a lady falling from a building he is flying at the speed of uh, 450 miles per hour in 
the building is 1,800 miles away. How long it took him to rescue the lady? Okay, the uh, formula is time is equal to distance over speed. So we have here the given 1,800 miles for the distance and speed is 450 miles per hour so divide 1,000 by 450 and that will be 4 hours so super Billy at the speed of 450 miles per hour uh, rescued the lady safely and that's all for this lesson okay i hope you learn from this and thank you and enjoy learning mathematics